In this video, we will find the derivative of the function y is equal to square root of 1 minus x upon 1 plus x. So we will differentiate both sides with respect to x. So we have dy by dx is equal to d by dx of square root of 1 minus x upon 1 plus x. We know that the derivative of square root of x is equal to 1 upon 2 square root of x. But here we cannot apply this formula because this variable and this variable must be same. But we have 1 minus x upon 1 plus x in place of this x. So let u is equal to 1 minus x upon 1 plus x. So this will become d by dx of square root of u. Again these two variables are not same. So we cannot apply this formula. So we will apply chain rule of differentiation and we will replace this dx by du so that we can differentiate the square root of u and multiply it by du by dx. Now the derivative of a square root of u with respect to u is 1 upon 2 square root of u and here we put the value of u which is 1 minus x upon 1 plus x. Now we can apply quotient rule of differentiation which is d by dx of u upon v is equal to v times derivative of u minus u times derivative of v upon v square. Now here we can put the value of u which is 1 minus x upon 1 plus x and here we can apply the quotient rule. So we have in we can see that we have u, 1 minus x in place of u and 1 plus x in place of v. So first we will write v which is 1 plus x multiply by the derivative of u minus u which is 1 minus x then the derivative of v and in the denominator we have v square so we will write 1 plus x whole square Now this can be written as 1 upon 2 square root of 1 minus x upon square root of 1 plus x. And here we will write 1 plus x. The derivative of 1 is 0 and the derivative of minus x is minus 1. So we will write minus 1. Then 1 minus x. And here the derivative of 1 is 0 and the derivative of x is 1. Now we can convert this fraction into its reciprocal. So we have 1 plus square root of 1 plus x upon 2 times square root of 1 minus x. And here 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. x times minus 1 is minus x then minus 1 times 1 is minus 1 and minus 1 times minus x is plus x upon 1 plus x whole square. Now we have square root of 1 plus x upon 2 times the square root of 1 minus x and here minus x plus x is 0 and minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 so we have 1 plus x whole square now we can cancel this 2 and this 2 so we have minus 1 so and here 1 plus x to the power 1 upon 2 so we can write it as 1 plus x to the power 1 upon 2 upon square root of 1 minus x and over here we can write minus 1 upon 
वन प्लस एक्स टू दी पावर टू नाउ बाय द रूल ऑफ एंडिस वी कैन सब्रैक्ट दीज पावर्स सो वी हैव वन अपॉन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन माइनस एक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन प्लस एक्स टू दी पावर टू माइनस वन अपॉन टू सो वी हैव माइनस वन अपॉन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन माइनस एक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन प्लस एक्स टू दी पावर थ्री अपॉन टू so we have minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus x and 1 plus x to the power 3 upon 2 now this can be written as 1 minus x and 1 plus x to the power 1 upon 2 multiply by 1 plus x now first we will write this 1 plus x and then square root of 1 minus x and 1 plus x to the power 1 upon 2 can be written as square root of 1 plus x now square root of a multiplied by square root of b is equal to square root of a multiplied by b so we can multiply these factors in the square root so we have minus 1 upon 1 plus x and in the square root we have 1 minus x multiplied by 1 plus x now here we can apply the formula a minus b a plus b is equal to a square minus b square so we have minus 1 upon 1 plus x and here we have 1 minus x in place of a minus b so the value of a is 1 and the value of b is x so we can apply this formula and we have a square minus b square so we can write 1 square minus x square which is equal to minus 1 upon 1 plus x square root of 1 minus x square and this is the final answer